Alright guys, so the Dragon Ball event is currently live on JP Dokkan. They're doing it a little differently this time. This is actually kind of interesting, and I'm going to be very curious to see what happens uh, once we have actually gone ahead and gathered all of the Dragon Balls as well. So, uh, for starters, we have this event, right? Uh, there's going to be seven stages in this event for each Dragon Ball. Uh, each Dragon Ball that we're able to obtain... Uh, correlates to one of the shadow dragons uh, that, you know, basically the shadow dragons were born from like one of these wishes, right? So the first one today that we're going to do is uh, it was Oceana Shenron was created by Oolong's wish to wish for a pair of panties. So that's going to be uh, the dragon that we're going to go ahead and, you know, get today. Now, what we have over here is there's a number of hints and stuff uh, to what exactly it is that we need to accomplish. Now, they're out of order, so it's a bit wonky. I I'll try and I'm going to read these in order, right? So, today we have to clear stage one while supporting allies with a lewd pig. Now, uh, initially, we thought it was going to be use uh, an oolong item, either the tech or the AGL one, but it appears beating the stage is enough because it gives you uh, an oolong item. Uh, then stage two, clear stage two and obtain the strange water that amplifies your power. Uh, again, it appears as though we only need to beat stage two, and then we get the uh, holy sacred water or whatever item it is, the training item, and we'll be good to go. See, right there. Now, stage three, uh, clear stage three together with an ally who moves well, learns well, plays well, eats well, and rests well. Yeah, that's a saying from Master Roshi. So that one, I believe, should be a uh, clear stage with like a... Uh, turtle school, uh, like a character that has the link turtle school. We'll see if that is exactly what it is, but I, I'm presuming so, or some character connected to Master Roshi, right? Uh, clear stage four together with a pure one of the warrior race. So, of course, this one right here will just be used a pure Saiyan category unit. That should be good enough. Uh, clear stage five together with the legendary warrior who strikes fear into even Frieza. So, I believe that will be beat the stage with a character with the Super Saiyan link. Uh, stage 6 down here, clear stage 6 together with a bunch of super warriors of one color. Uh, now, again, it, it seems like just use a mono team. Uh, I've not seen any link presented forth for like how exactly to take that down or anything, so we'll see. Uh, and then clear stage 7 together with an ally who played a role in the Majin Buu saga. Of course, you know, we're looking at the... Uh, just any character with the Majin Buu arc uh, in there. Uh, so big shout outs, of course, to Goresh for sort of the translations here uh, for the different hints uh, for these uh, stages and stuff. And like here, you know, Super Saiyan Link, Sacred Water Training Item, uh, Buu Category Unit, Turtle School Link, Pure Saiyan Unit, Use Oolong Support Item, and then run a Super Mono Team does appear to be uh, what all of these are going to require to take down this event. Now again... Uh, it looks as though each stage will go live daily, so this will be a daily event. So I'm kind of going over everything in this first video, and then I'll probably just do the daily videos to go ahead and grab these different Dragon Balls as the days go on as well. So I guess at this point, we might as well just go ahead and hop over uh, into the game, uh, and we will go ahead and be able to take down uh, exactly the event that we need to right here. So... Uh, let's see if we head over to the Dragon Ball we could see that this is actually like a Dragon Ball collection mission like before you know we do have the new seven balls and then of course there's the old Shenron they need to update the quest or the story by the way it's been uh, a little too freaking long <laughs> honestly so here we'll go ahead and hop into the stage again I, I believe it's just you know beat it is should be enough but I think I'm also going to use uh, an Oolong support item, you know, just for whatever. You know, I have a million of them anyway. Yeah, and then here, it's a better listing of when the stages go live. So, looks like on the 21st is when we will be able to make our wish. Uh, that's a couple days after the Legendary Summon banner does go live as well. So, uh, for what units to use here, I don't think that's going to matter. So, I'll just go ahead and bring this uh, Shadow Dragon team I've been using to farm up uh, Vegeta Jr., uh, let me go ahead and grab an oolong support item. Where is... There he is up here. Uh, we have 798 of that one, so we'll go ahead and do this. And we will hop in for the cracked Dragon Balls. See, man, they really could do something very, very interesting at the end of this, too. Like, rather than just giving us a wish, like, if they had, like, some sort of raid boss or something, oh, my goodness, would that be, like, 
really exciting. Like, I, I don't know. They, they definitely could do, like, some really interesting things. I hope they do that. So, of course, you know, this is the start of Dragon Ball right here. Uh, you know, Goku, Bulma, Yamcha, Puar, Oolong. Uh, you know, they, they go to Pilaf's castle. Uh, basically, Pilaf is able to trick them. Like, it, it's, it's ridiculous how foolish... Like, Goku, Bulma, Yamcha, and them, like, how easily they get tricked, right? Uh, and then because of that, uh, Pilaf is able to gather all seven Dragon Balls, but uh, Oolong actually manages to hop out there, and he wishes, you know, basically steals the wish from Pilaf and wishes for the world's, you know, softest pair of panties or whatever. Or d does he just say a pair of panties? I don't know. Whatever it is that he says, he gets it. Um, okay, so... Yeah, we'll, you know, we'll go ahead. We're going to take down uh, Peel Off with Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Here, I am just going to go ahead and pop this Oolong item. Again, I don't think I actually have to do this, but I'm just going to whatever. All right, so we'll go ahead and take him down, and then this should get us our Dragon Ball for the day. Again, I don't. none of these like Dragon Ball restrictions or anything are ever going to be too difficult because I think they're going to want everyone to be able to get them, even newer players, right? So that's why, like, you know, for the Master Roshi one, right, where we possibly need a Turtle School uh, Link character, you know, I'm pretty sure you can get those from the Friend Summon. Like, you know, the, the Krillin or the Yamcha that you can get from the Friend Summons probably will be sufficient uh, in terms of getting the Link that we actually need. So, you know, I, I don't think this is really going to be too difficult, but it does seem like they're making it, you know, a bit more involved and a bit more fun. Again, the reason they're kind of doing this and I like how it's kind of, you know, we're jumping all over between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. But that aspect is more so because, you know, each of the cracked Dragon Balls and the Shenron that comes out of them correlates back to a wish that was made in either Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Again, that's one of the, the better plot points, I think, that GT does. Like, And that is something I would like to see them return in Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I think that that is, like, it's very effective. Like, sort of having the... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so we got the, the pair of panties right there for Oolong. And then, of course, that's the, the wish that gives birth to um, Oceana Shenron. Oh, yeah, there we go. So now it shows us the Dragon Ball get cracked, huh? And then, boom, we get the six-star Dragon Ball. So there we go. So that's the other thing, too. Uh, like, it, it, it doesn't seem as though... Okay. The order of the stages we're going... Uh, it's chronological order from when it happened, right? So, like, the next one that we're going to get, the next Dragon Ball, is going to be the one where uh, Goku, after beating Mercenary Tao and after defeating the Red Ribbon Army, he uses the Dragon Balls to revive uh, Bora. You know, uh, it was an Indian, you know, him and his son, Upa. Bora was killed by Mercenary Tao, so Goku uses the Dragon Balls uh, to revive him, right? That's the next wish that we're going to go ahead and take down. And, you know, it, Mercenary Tao, like, Goku fought him basically at the base of Korin Tower. So that's kind of why, like, you know, get the sacred water is the thing that they want us to do. Like, I, they, they actually put, like, you know, thought and detail into this stuff with the way we're doing it. Like, so I'm actually really enjoying this. Uh, so we got our stone. We got the Oolong item. Uh, we also completed a mission. I'll have to check that out. And then there is stage done. Yeah, I think you could redo the stage at any time. So, you know, it, it's a nice little story event now as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab this mission. I actually don't know what this mission is. Uh, what item? I'm sure this will probably give, like, uh, for your anniversary coins or for your anniversary tickets or something like that. Or a stone. Okay. Sure, I'll take that. Four stones. Oh, okay. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense to get, like, four stones per mission. So now we could jump over here and bam, we have the six-star crack Dragon Ball. So again... After we collect all seven Crack Dragon Balls, the Black Smoke Shenron is going to be summoned. Again, in the show, and the series, he does not grant a wish. So it's going to be very interesting to see what exactly happens with that. Uh, and then, of course, I know there also is a separate thing in the news I wanted to click on here. Uh, yeah, this one right here. I forgot to bring this up. I wanted to do this at the start of the video, but I just remembered that I forgot to bring this one up. So this is kind of going over like all the different Dragon Balls, right? Like we got the first Dragon Ball. You get the four stones for completing the hint and getting the Dragon Ball. So again, we'll see what happens once uh, we get all seven. Once the Black Smoke Shenron is actually summoned. Could there be like another LR? Like what if collecting all seven dra Black Smoke, like Black, you know, Crack Dragon Balls would get us like an LR Shadow Dragon that like, you know, you just get the LR Shadow Dragon character 
for collecting all seven. That would be incredible. Like, you know, I, is there a chance that could happen? Yes, it's probably not high, but there's definitely a real shot. So uh, every day I'll probably do a quick video. You know, this one went a little longer, but you know, just explaining all the details. Uh, every day we'll go ahead and knock the Dragon Balls out. The reason we started with the six Dragon Ball, by the way, is that is Oceana Shenron's Dragon Ball. Like we're we're, coll we're not collecting the Dragon Balls in this order. Like from you know one the one ball the two ball the three star ball, but we're collecting them in order of when the wishes were made and what correlates to that dragon, right? So we'll go ahead and finish up here for today. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, good luck finding the dragon balls. I'll do another one tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys next time.